everyone welcome back i'm so excited to share these nails with you because i absolutely freaking love them so for this set i was inspired by um britain's next top model i was watching a shoot and they were on the beach and yeah i just thought it looked beautiful so i wanted to try and create a set of beach nails so in this video in part one i'm showing you the um the ocean side that I done so that's a really shit shot I'm so sorry oh my goodness excuse my language um yeah so on this nail I've come in um, with CJP Milky Way so I wanted to start with the deepest blue of the ocean and then as I come across the nails make it lighter as if you're coming up to that really really clear bit near the beach so this is the deepest end so this is milky way and then i've just got some strips of i'm sure this is unicorn film from glitter planet uk um and i just added some strips onto these dark blue nails because i wanted to sort of create you know when you see the deep deep ocean on documentaries and you see the rays of light penetrating through the water i wanted to sort of emulate that with the strips of angel paper or unicorn film or whatever you want to call it but it's pretty so yeah did this on here and I've obviously still got my code my discount code for glitter planet UK so and that's Kerry Reese 10 for 10 percent off your order so on this ring finger coming in with Milky Way again I think I just did this one the same actually is the pinky so yeah I'm using this uh, design powder so I'm just more painting it on because I'm going to cap them all in crystal glass afterwards as well And then in with that unicorn film again. I'll just cut it, cut it, <laughs> cut really thin um, strips for this because I didn't want it to completely overtake the blue because it's such a beautiful colour that blue and it's got a shimmer in it as well. It's gorgeous. But I'll leave all the links in the description box for everything that I've used. And if your acrylic starts to dry too much, just go in with your wet brush and just wet that nail down again before you stick any more on and it will just stick to it. Excuse me if you can hear my children, they are zooped up on chocolate, chocolate eggs for breakfast and all that on Easter Sunday. <laughs> so on this middle finger I wanted to start to transition the colours um, to the lighter colours the closer we get to the beach so on the left hand side I'm coming with a small bead of Milky Way and I'll just blend that down the nail and just sort of stroke it out a bit as, as you get to the centre of that nail a bit so that we can blend the next colour in And see the beauty of working thin is if you need more you can add more whereas if you come in with a whacking great bead straight away it's going to run everywhere and there's going to be too much product on the nail so this is cjp mermaid so as always even though i'm doing an ombre i'll still tuck it in at the cuticle first and then i'll start blending down and then brush over there at that contact line so they merge together a little bit and again working wet with this so that they blend nicely together just coming in with a really wet bead of that Milky Way there just to blend it over Oh, 
then you can keep blending and adding until you're happy with how your blend looks or how you want it to look. Couple more pieces of that unicorn film. index finger is going to be <clears throat> excuse me full nail of mermaid I think no it's not it's going to be mermaid and apple shine sorry So in this video I'm using my um, CJP Big Boy brush, again, he's my new favourite. I think I'll still always use my 10 for um, geometric work as well because obviously for me the smaller the brush the more precise it is so I think I'll still use my 10 for that. Added another wet bead of mermaid over that join line, and then this thumb is just going to be a full nail of apple shine. So it's tidying up around that cute area if you've got a tad too close. You don't want to leave it there because it will cause lifting. And as you can see, my ratio is still a bit off. So I'm getting used to using this bigger brush. It holds a lot more liquid than the small ones. Apple shine is such a stunning colour. I oh, absolutely love it. this angel paper I left some on my tissue and it kept getting stuck in my brush I don't know why I just didn't move it but you know hey that would have been easy wouldn't it <laughs> so again just add another bead there just to make sure I've got enough product in that apex area and then I'm going to come back and cap these
So on to filing, same as always. Um, we have sped this up because I've had to split the video into two parts because it was super long anyway. So same as always, side walls first, um, cuticle area and then over the body of the nail. Also making sure you come in underneath that nail to make sure it's nice and straight. Seeing how I'm holding on to the nail there, you always want to be supporting these long nails because it because I wear long nails myself I know it can be quite painful when you're filing if you don't support the nail so always give that nail a bit of support and be extra gentle when you're filing the free edge as well I was so eager to get this filing finished so that I could just, I knew that we'd gone for a beach theme and this was the ocean part and I knew that I wanted lots of embellishments and things on the top but I didn't know what so I just literally tipped out of selection of all my beachiest looking things and then just kind of went with it which I usually do with my sets to be honest. I, it's, like this set I had an idea I wanted to do um, seaside theme but usually with my sets my clients say just do whatever and I'm more than happy to do that sometimes they come in with pictures which is fine as well but I generally like to just go with it and see like with this thumb if you apply smaller beads or less product you have less filing to do at the end as well so you end up with a less bulky looking nail so I'm just adding my CJP tech free top gloss Sorry if that's gone a bit blurry, I think my camera's focusing on the shell that's in the background. That was me checking, looking at the camera. Why are you blurry? I didn't realise it was the stands. So, I just literally placed a bead of acrylic on and I got these power, I think they're called power shell. Um, I got these off eBay a couple of years ago now, but I'm sure you can still get them. So just search for PowerShell. And I just kept popping them on where I wanted. I've also got some small little gold starfishes and um, other shells. Those were from Gems at Dorney Bee. Please guys, if you do pop over to uh, to Dawn over this weekend to have a look at her page, she is really poorly at the moment, so try and be a bit patient. She will definitely get back to you all. shell from Dawn as well. These power shells when they catch the light are absolutely stunning. Oh they're really beautiful. 
I have also encapsulated them before, but I've not done it for a couple of years, so I might give that a go again. Sorry if I've gone out a shot again. So these embellishments on this now, I wanted to sort of again emulate what you would find under the sea and the colours that are under the sea. So that's why I've got the little starfish and the, the other shells on there as well. This little um, bead that I decided I didn't like and took off and I replaced with another starfish. So I'm just literally adding all of them with acrylic. Look at this sh colour shift in them shells, it's so gorgeous. So I didn't get myself in, so I've just popped two uh, power shells on and this is a little starfish I brought in a pack with other small um, shells that you'll see on the other hand in the next video there, just from eBay. Um, can we just search for seashell, tiny seashells or things? So as you can see, my starfish didn't want to stay on. I did have to soak it in um, hot water a little bit because it was really dead, dead, dead stiff and I didn't want it to just snap. So I did have to soak it a bit to soften it. And then I'm going to place some um, bits and bobs underneath that starfish so that it, its legs or whatever you call them <laughs> aren't just sticking out because they will just rip straight off otherwise. So I'm just popping bits of acrylic underneath and then I'll add some more shell and some other bits under there as well. So I've just literally spoke to my friend that's wearing these and um, so this was like two days, was it two days ago that I put them on and she's still got everything on. She hasn't broke anything off. So yay. So those other, those small shells that you can see down the bottom of the screen, they were the ones in the little pot that came with the starfish. So there was like a long, a long piece of shell in there with my power shell and I just thought, oh, that looks like a bit of driftwood sort of a bit of a wood shape so what I've done is I've got some small bits of netting cut some small strips off rolled them in my fingers so they looked a bit frayed and just stuck them with nail glue onto the bottom of this excuse me piece of shell so it looked like a bit of a bit of wood floating near the shore <laughs> so I'm just tucking any old any old any extra bits of acrylic back underneath with my brush there <clears throat> just pushing it down make sure it's sat in that acrylic and then I'm not in shot there but what I've done is because obviously that is dead straight it comes off the nail at like a, at a straight angle I just dropped a little bead of acrylic just right under that edge so that it doesn't get caught and pull off so right there where I'm just tucking it now that's where I added it And I literally could have kept adding stuff all day. But there you go, guys. So please join me again tomorrow for part two of the finished set. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon. Bye.